sure. Um, my name is Michelle Chua, um, founder of Root to Rise Yoga, and I'm here live with Chef Itzel, a founder of Wild Love Vegan Food. And um, I wanted to just very quickly insert, how is this related to yoga? Why are we talking about vegan food <laughs> in a yoga mm -hmm. channel? Um, so a couple of the practices of yoga in the first and second limb, one is ahimsa. It's the very first and often thought of as the most important practice of yoga, which starts with nonviolence. And part of that nonviolence is loving kindness to your body, to yourself, to the planet, to animals, and however you may translate that. So self-care is an important part of the yoga practice. And then there's in the second limb of yoga, saucha, and saucha translates as purity. So having a cleanliness of mind, of body, of your environment, all of those things are very much related to eating well, um, eating plant-based, healthy foods that help you to be more open to sit in meditation without being distracted by ailments in the body or an overly sugar powered mind. <laughs> so with that being said, um, I am so excited to introduce Itzel, whom I met in November of last year. Um, she came over to my apartment and she was um, teaching private courses on how to make a weekly meal prep uh, using healthy plant-based foods and it was amazing <laughs> and I was just inspired and one of the main reasons I had her come um, I hired her to come was because I need more I needed more inspiration to get out of my comfort zone of cooking the same thing all the time and to just get a little more life and creativity in what I put into my body so uh, without further ado I'm so excited to introduce Chef Itzel welcome hi thank you so much thanks for having me so it's um what drew you to to starting to, to being so passionate like how did you discover that you were passionate about making and educating people about creating healthy vegan meals well um i guess i want to start by saying that the reason I decided to go vegan was because I was vegetarian since I was 16. And as most people going through the transition, I just went straight to eating a lot of French fries and grilled cheese sandwiches and quesadillas. And um, I started feeling kind of depressed and I didn't understand why that was happening because actually I felt like everything in my life was going really well. And I was talking to a friend who worked with me and I told her about how I was feeling. I was like, this is super weird. And she said, well, what have you been eating? And I was like, what does that have to do with it? Like I, at that point, I didn't know that there was any connection to the way that you would feel with what you were eating. And I told her what I was eating. And she's like, no wonder. And so my idea of going vegan was actually because I just wanted to feel happier. And uh, I read this book and when I about it was, a, it's actually called skinny bitch. And it talks about all the different reasons of why eating plant based is amazing. For your mind for your body for the earth for the animals um and so i just had a million and one reasons why i needed to do it now and so that's actually why i became uh, a cook and why i wanted to share it with people because i was like you know what this is something which at that time in san diego like over 10 years ago wasn't like super huge and i know that people had a lot of ideas about what like eating just plant-based was like and i wanted to sort of create like a new paradigm of like no it can be super delicious it can be totally satiating and there doesn't have to be any kind of compromise you know for not for yourself or for the earth or the animals or anything else and so that's like and my goal in life ever since the first resume that i ever wrote has been to spread joy and happiness and inspiration and so this gave me like a very clear path of how to do that 
and it it changed my life and i i lost weight i like you know my my skin cleared up i started feeling a lot more energy and i became like super inspired in the kitchen and i just feel like we all eat multiple times a day right and for a lot of us it can even be this thing that we have to do or have to figure out and it doesn't have i feel like it doesn't have to be that way it can be something that we feel actually really excited about the whole process of it and in fact i actually don't even like to go to restaurants that much because i'm like that takes away half the fun then i don't get to you know pick out the ingredients and get in the kitchen and get creative and get in the zone and i would want people to be able to experience that for themselves because it's something that we can do on a daily basis it's like a practice just like yoga you know it's a practice of presence it's yeah <laughs> definitely if you haven't seen itself cooking um just being alongside her and like you know when she was leading me through that course she definitely inspired me with her presence in cooking and just being in that zone and and dancing while she cooks and just <laughs> You know, um, there's so much joy in the food that she puts into the food that you can definitely taste. Um, so I wanted to ask, and several people want to know, um, can you share like maybe two or three of your favorite ways to create healthy, delicious, vegan meals that save time, that are budget friendly, and that are easy to, to do? I know those are a lot of requirements. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, a little while ago, I put myself to the challenge. I'm like, how can I make something that literally requires maybe five minutes of prep that is like pretty cheap and that's still gonna be balanced? And, you know, honestly, canned foods, like, and again, it depends which, what quality of anything you get, right? Um, but Trader Joe's or even Whole Foods has like their brand of canned foods that are really good. You could get coconut cream. That's just like coconut and that's it. You know, you can get beans. That's like good salt and just beans and water. Um, so I made this too that it was like a can of, uh, coconut cream, a can of, uh, tomatoes, like, uh, roasted tomatoes, a can of chickpeas. And then I just cut up three vegetables. And I didn't even saute them or anything. And I literally threw the whole can in there. And then I just put a nice amount of spices. And I made this like really nice stew. I feel like soups are like an amazing way to do that. Also, like dressing greens, right? Like greens are so amazing for you. You sent me the question of what things are in season that are detoxifying and really good for you. And there's like so many greens that are in season right now. And I looked up the benefits of greens and I'm like, holy shit. It, they literally help every single part of your body. They detoxify everything. They make your skin glow, your hair healthier, your eyes clear up, your teeth become stronger. Like your gut starts working super easily. And it's like all you have to do to greens is add a little bit of dressing and then they're great, right? And the great thing about like especially living in LA, it's just, you can get really good quality ingredients. You just have to go to Whole Foods or you just have to go to like Trader Joe's and they already have pre-made dressings for you, right? So there are those little hacks where it's like, not everything that's pre-made is like great quality. You just have to look out that, look at the labels, you know, and see that it doesn't have like maltodextrose or dextrin, which are both like MSG. Also, I think the fastest food, way faster than fast food, fruit, right? Fruit, you grab it, you eat it. That's it. It's delicious. <laughs> you don't have to do anything to it. You know what else is amazing? Just straight off. Honestly, any vegetable that's organic. And if you go to the farmer's market where it's like way fresher and they didn't have to pick it like way before, it's like we're so used to seasoning our food so much. And very few of us have actually gotten just like raw fruits and vegetables and eaten it as it is. When you get that experience, you realize like, wow, this is actually really good, right? Hmm. Were the so nutrients those, those there. are a few. There. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, 
what kinds of, so you already talked about greens being some of the cleansing foods for spring. Um, mm -hmm. Amazing how you look around and you think, you see what fruits, what vegetables are, are blooming, are sprouting in each season. And it's like nature is telling you like, this is what you need right now <laughs> to be the healthiest in this environment. Yeah. So besides greens, or maybe you can name some of the specific greens that are in season now here in LA in spring um, that help to cleanse us of environmental toxins or the toxins mm -hmm. that build up from stress, like mental stress. Uh, 100%. Taking in toxins all the time uh, from the air that we breathe, from the water that we drink, and mm -hmm. some of the food. Yeah, so um, some of the greens that are in season right now are radicchio, watercress, uh, a few different types of lettuce, spinach, and I think uh, endives. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and I the the more variety that we could eat, the more nutritional benefits that we're getting, right? So I actually um, made a video of my rainbow kale salad, which I know you learned, <laughs> and it's on my YouTube um, channel, Joyride with the Rainbow Goddess. Um, and that one I I did do with kale, and actually kale grows all year round, by the way. But what I teach in that video is how to make like a really amazing balanced dressing and how you can create variations with that dressing. So I would suggest that in this season, get a mix of all the greens that are in season and then use the outline of that dressing to make your own dressing, just make like a big batch. And then that way, every time that you have your salad, you have a lot of nutritional value from the different types of greens and then you have this amazing dressing that's going to complement it and then of course i always say to complement it with rainbow veggies right um so i always like to complement it with purple cabbage and carrots and i'm trying to think of what's in season right now that's is, you know what right now it's so many greens that are in season asparagus is in season i like to just like lightly uh pan fry or blanch it which means you just dip it in like really salted boiling water for like two minutes and that could be a really nice topper for your salad as well um something else that's in season that i really like to mix into salads is fennel fennel is really good for your skin it's also really good for your teeth and your hair so you know want to look good <laughs> eat some fennel and you know what's funny um fennel grows like crazy in la so when you go on hikes if you can look out for it i like to get a little bit of fennel and put it into my water bottle and it infuses like so quickly um fennel is very fibrous so you do when you are cooking with it or you're incorporating it into your salads you just want to like slice it very thinly so you don't get like little strings you know it's so good in juices i absolutely love to juice fennel it's very juicy um and the flavor of fennel is like licorice so it's actually quite sweet and so even honestly just having it as a snack is really nice um it's also super good for your gut and digestion uh so and your gut is actually related to your brain function which you know is related to your nervous system and your mood so if you want to feel super happy <laughs> i would say eat some fennel <laughs> yeah. definitely your mood. yeah um, I want to mention one other thing that's in season. Um, so oranges and limes are in season right now. And I love citrus because it's just so versatile. You can use it in dressings, you can use it in drinks, and you can use it in desserts, which everybody likes. <laughs> um, I also love lime for, I mean, I'm Mexican, so Mexicans like top everything with lime, but I especially love it in soups. Today is a cold you know, cloudy day, I'm sure people will be making some soup. So if you haven't tried putting some lime in your soup, try it out today because it is delicious. Uh, citrus actually elevates all the other flavors, like the sweetness, the savoriness. Sometimes you might think your food needs more salt, but no, it actually needs a little bit of lime. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm, good to know. Um, thanks for sharing that. That's a lot of information. I hope some of 
getting some inspiration for your your meatless monday or your meatless monday every day <laughs> recipes mm -hmm. for, for dinner yeah i hear some people saying yum yes she does you can taste the love in her food you've got a lot of people vouching for you here mm -hmm. live mm -hmm. on yes <laughs> yeah. so she is going to be it's itself is going to be our chef at our women's retreat coming up i'm so excited and i'm very that all these women that are coming are going to get to experience your meals um all of our meals um may 6 through 9 uh the theme or the the retreat is called thrive together so uh itself is going to be addressing one dimension of health which is through food and we contribute to our ability to thrive and then we'll be addressing different ways through creative arts <laughs> through yoga meditation mindfulness nature play all that good stuff but i wanted to highlight a little bit more if you can give us a little taste of the cooking class that you're going to be leading during the retreat thrive together on may 6 through 9 can you give us a little taste of what kinds of things we're going to learn about yeah, definitely. So it's actually going to be a class on how to put together a macro bowl, which is actually the basis of my weekly meal prep classes, because what a macro bowl usually is, it's got a balance of grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, um, greens, and like every color of the rainbow. So we're going to incorporate a lot of different vegetables. Again, you want most people get like very few ingredients that they eat all the time, right? So their nutrition is very limited. So we always want to have as much versatility. So I also want to try to choose grains, legumes, and vegetables that people normally wouldn't use that are a little bit less common um, to expand the repertoire. And then when we learn about how to cook these different um, components, we're gonna learn about how to apply that to a wider variety, right? So it's like giving you the basis of how to cook for your week in a way that's gonna be delicious and it's gonna have a lot of versatility. You can mix and match it in different ways to make different dishes. Um, yeah. <laughs> that sounds exciting. That's it. that's kind of what you, you did with me in our, in our cooking course a little bit. So I'm really looking forward uh, to having it sell at our women's retreat, um, May 6 through 9. I'll put a link down below for anybody that wants to join us for that. Um, also, if anybody wants to come in contact with you, um, maybe take your uh, cooking courses or find some recipes on your YouTube channel, what's the best way to do that? Um, actually, through my Instagram, I have a link to my YouTube channel. Um, I don't have my website on there, but people can message me directly if they're interested in catering, cooking classes, personal chef services. Yeah, or even um, I also do consulting for businesses if they want to add like a vegan recipe to their menu or they want to veganize their menu or maybe they're interested in starting a new business and they want help with some recipe or menu development. I do that as well. Awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. Michelle. Thanks for sharing your, your knowledge and your time. And um, I'm really looking forward to tasting more of your meals. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for this beautiful opportunity. It's been so nice working with you and I really, really look forward to the retreat. Oh my gosh. It looks so amazing. Like I can't wait. Yeah. Is, does anybody that's here on live want to ask a question or two of itself before we log off? <laughs> I'm just going to read off some of the comments here. Yes, on the limes from Marie. Mm. Ari. Uh, what else we have? Yum from Dejer. Her food is the best. <laughs> Hi, Shannon. Awesome. Well, I'll leave a link on the description of this, um, this live recording and I will uh, keep you informed. Thanks everybody for joining. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>